I've been here for a day, uh, kind of jet lagged, but uh, enjoying it right now. I have nothing really to say besides just looking forward to things. I think uh, Fnatic is good, Execration is good. Those are the teams that I'm looking forward to playing as the most. And then there are like these teams that, uh, like Natural Nine, uh, an Australian team that I haven't kind of seen much these days. Overall, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of these uh, B teams in that sense. And Fnatic and Execration, I think, are the most uh, tier teams in here. With Mineski, I think, too. We picked Kezu up because I think uh, he fits this team. I think his attitude is very good. And uh, I spoke to him a little bit, and I think he's just very uh, a learning person. And uh, I think he's a very good offlaner, so it kind of all fits for us. The reason why we got three Asian players is because they wanted to play with us, uh, with me, or in that sense, and in secret. And uh, it kind of like turned into the fact that they know English and there's no communication issues. So, yeah, there's no problems in there. Me and Pilot I, we speak perfect Korean. No, we don't. But <laughs> all right. I mean, I think uh, the subsystem is kind of flawed, and uh, you can already see a lot of teams taking abuse of it. And uh, I don't fault any of the teams taking abuse of it because if it's you, you do everything in order to win. So, but you might uh, you might tread on the wrong places in that sense. You might make mistakes by not trying to fix your own team but taking some easy way out, which was not even a good way in the first place. You should work on the, the team that you have that actually qualified for the team, to the tournament. Well, it was, of course, really sad to not qualify for Boston Majors. Uh, it's been like a week from that time. I think uh, everybody kind of took like this uh, mental uh, break from Dota in that sense. Uh, but I know, there's always like, it's just one tournament in the end of the day and uh, we'll try better next time and I think we kind of got unlucky in that sense just uh, we had one bad day and we, we got out in that same day nothing much changed besides forever leaving and Kezu joining and uh, we haven't played yet together because uh, we had everybody in their homes for now after you know losing the qualifications of Boston Major but uh, we'll do fine we're, we're kind of like still in the zone and stuff even though most of the teams here did not qualify for the Boston Major, so it's kind of like a, a different type of tournament. It's not uh, it's not an international one. It's definitely like C Dota related. Of course, we lost one C Dota player, and we're not really that C anymore. But we'll see how things go. People are very passionate about esports, it seems, or maybe Dota. I'm not really sure, but for Dota, I, I would say they're very passionate, and they uh, they eat it up. They like they like the community stuff, and they like to. Uh, just uh, be part of what everything's going on in esports right now. Thanks for fans for keeping to be my fans and stuff. And uh, yeah, secret fighting.